Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. So if your computer is constantly freezing or crashing, um, you're getting error messages and things of that nature, uh, display has stopped responding and has recovered, uh, I'm going to show you some things that we've, uh, Tim and I, Tim, my, uh, my other simple how-to's partner in crime, we run a help desk, <clears throat> excuse me, and we've helped multiple people uh, with this issue, and most of the time, Honestly, it comes down to memory, and I'm going to discuss that um, in depth here in just a second. But if it's if your computer is freezing or crashing all the time, um, the first thing I would check is your temperatures. Now, there's some free programs out there, and I use uh, this program right here called uh, Core Temp, and it displays your temperatures, and you can see exactly what's going on with your temperatures. If your temperatures are a little high then I would recommend um, that you first uh, make sure that the airflow in your case is proper. Um, the air intake should be from the front and the side should intake and um, the air pushing out should be from the back and the top. So first make sure all your fans are pointing the right way and then you can check uh, <clears throat> your GPU and your CPU and things like that. But if your temperatures are fine and you're still getting that crashing and stuff like that, um, and this is assuming after you've done uh, your virus scan, there's free programs out there. Um, I use Malwarebytes. I use uh, Spybot Search and Destroy. Uh, free programs to do virus scan. And this is assuming that you've already done a virus scan and you've already cleaned your computer. Another free program is CCleaner that uh, Tim and I use quite often and you clean is cleans your computer and also cleans your registry. So assuming that you've done that, the virus scan, the registry, uh, CCleaner and all that, and your computer is still crashing or freezing. Um, you might want to look into your memory. Now before you go out and buy a new GPU, buy a new CPU, go buy all this new stuff, first check your memory. And be sure that you have your slots here and be sure that your memory sticks are in the correct slots um, that your motherboard uh, has you put them in. Like this would be one, two, three, four, uh, stuff of that nature. So <clears throat> you must, the, the, the key here is to make sure that your uh, memory is compatible with your motherboard. You can't just go out and go to Best Buy or whoever wherever you go to buy your memory, Amazon or uh, Newegg, you can't just buy memory because it says, um, because it's a 240 pin uh, stick or whatever your your stick is. So you can't just go out and, and buy whatever just because it has the correct pins, okay? Because it has to be compatible with your motherboard. Um, like I said, uh, Tim and I, we... we uh, uh, we have uh, computer help here. Uh, if you go to uh, simplehowtos.com and go to the help desk, Tim and I, we, uh, we offer help with these kind of situations. And um, there has been multiple people that we've helped that with this problem, with this memory issue. And nine times out of ten, it's either a bad stick or the memory is not compatible with your motherboard. So first, I'm going to show you how to find out if your stick is compatible uh, with your motherboard. So if we go to Google, um, or whatever search you choose to use, um, you need to search for your particular uh, motherboard, or, or go to the website. In my case, it's MSI. So I'm just going to go to MSI.com uh, here, and then... Um, you know, whether you have a MSI or an ASUS or something like that, you need to go to their actual website to figure out what works for your particular motherboard. So for me, um, and for you MSI users, I'm going to show you how to get there. Um, go to support, and this will also be, you know, probably be able to navigate, maybe somewhat similar with uh, the other motherboards as well. So um, you need to go to, I'm sorry, product and motherboard. I'll just run through this really quick. For me, I have a socket uh, 1150, so choose your socket. And then I have the uh, G45 Gaming. We'll select that. Then we'll go down to support. 
select that. And then we'll go to compatibility, select that, and memory support. So here is, for MSI anyway, um, all the memory sticks that are compatible with um, that particular motherboard. Now, if you have an Asus or some other motherboard, you're just going to have to go, um, you're just going to have to go to uh, that website of your motherboard and just navigate until um, you find uh, the correct memory for your particular motherboard. So if your <clears throat> memory is is compatible with your motherboard, but if you're still having that issue, um, we need to test the memory. And I'm going to show you how to test that right now. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to uh, manually check your RAM to see if they are um, working or isolate which one is actually causing your problem. So and like I said before, um, you have to make sure that your RAM is in the correct slots. Uh, for your motherboard so let's just go ahead and uh, do that now so what we're going to do the first thing you do is you turn off your power supply um, <clears throat> then after you turn turn that off you unplug the cord from the back of your computer once your computer is open go ahead and um, touch the side of the case before you start working in here that way um, you won't have any electrical charge to you know mess up any of your components or whatnot so then after you've done all that, then go ahead and uh, remove all of your RAM. I'm going to do that now. And then we're going to test these sticks one by one. So you get your first stick and you put it in the first slot. Put it in the first slot here. I'm trying to do Okay. So once it's in the slot, <clears throat> you plug your cord back in and turn on your power supply and go ahead and run something that normally makes your your computer crash like if it's a game or something run something kind of hard and if it doesn't crash then go ahead and remove this stick and try your other stick and you're going to do this uh, pretty much a uh, wash rinse and repeat with all of your sticks until you find the one that makes your computer crash so you're going to do it with this one then you can do it with the next one, and so on, and so forth, <clears throat> until you find the one that is making your computer crash. And then once you've um, located the one that's giving you the issues, um, then go ahead and take that out and don't use it any longer. Um, you can use your other sticks that are working uh, properly, and you can use those until you get yourself some new memory. So that's how to manually... Um, check to see if your RAM is, uh, is working correctly or not. And that's it. I hope this uh, video has helped you. Please uh, like this video, please subscribe, and comment if you like. Thanks for watching.